All right, everyone, today I'm gonna to be talking about Andy Anderson's flight deck. I've only ridden his board once. Uh, what I mean by once is on a trip to Bob Bernquist, uh, Dreamland, his home where the mega ramp is. Uh, I went down the, uh, the landing from the gap of the mega ramp into the big quarter and I was using Andy's board. His spare, he has a spare, uh, is crazy. But I was riding and it felt crazy and it was probably like the bigger size. This is like the smaller size, the 8.4. And even that, that goes above my size of a size eight skateboard. I could feel a huge difference because, and not in a bad way. For this, what I felt was I could catch my tricks more. That's how it feels like for me when a board is bigger than a size eight. I feel like I could catch my tricks. So for that, that was cool. What I did notice was um, I was skating some stairs like in the streets and the and it's not, there's nothing bad with the board. It's just, I noticed that, you see how the shape is right here? How it, it goes out a little, it sticks out. That was something that didn't really go that well when you kick out because I was kicking out a bunch on this big double set. This was taking a lot of damage. Same thing with this corner, and this corner, and this corner. So, for a lot of people that are thinking if they wanna buy the Andy Anderson, I just wanna let you know, when it comes down to like skating big stuff, be, be aware that the shape is very amazing it's one of a kind and it's not to downplay andy's board but for jumping down stuff there's so much going on with the shape like right here you could feel it like how it goes out and then it just goes into this um corner to to flat to another corner and then the shape goes right here again and then right here again so that's the biggest thing that I noticed, aside from like how it skates. For me, I didn't really feel a big difference whenever I was skating, cause like I love skating the bump to bar and like all the pyramid occasionally here and there. Didn't really feel any difference. Like I did a laser flip back lip, I did a switch heel, uh, switch big heel board slide, a hard flip back lip, and these tricks weren't affected by how I normally skate. This board was just, I had to flick a little bit harder because this is just a bigger size board in general. So uh, to be honest, the Andy Anderson board is amazing. I love it. I, I felt like when I did back 360s, I was like, oh shit, like this thing's like really keeping my feet on there. So I loved that aspect. The, the, like I said, the only thing that I kind of felt was off was whenever I skated down stuff, I didn't like how it just chipped fast because of these corners over here. But once again, probably not meant to go down stuff like this. I don't know. Like the, Andy skates different than most people. He's like a magician with his own mind and his own like tricks and rules and what's going on. Like it's amazing. But when it comes down to like other skaters, other skaters might want to jump down stuff. But I noticed that this is the only thing that I noticed. Like whenever I had the other Powell flight decks, it's just a normal skateboard size. So, uh, and like a shape, a regular skateboard shape. So it's not um, gonna, it doesn't chip as fast. It doesn't get hit at a certain point and it, get, it just boom. And it kind of just explodes. Other than that, Andy's board is amazing. And let me know in the comment section if you're gonna buy Andy's board because that's sick, you're supporting him. So yeah, this board is amazing. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and sign out until next time.